here at the uh, Amazonian Maze, just messing around with some buzz baits, and I was just going to kind of show you how, I know a lot of people like to use these like a stop and go or a twitch, but I was just kind of showing you the traditional way that I know of a buzz bait growing up fishing for largemouth bass. Uh, we call them buzz bait and kind of just use them on top of the water, uh, especially the animation, even in real life when they attack. And I think the trier, they, the fishing plan in general, I think did a really good job on the fish animations. And I think most of you guys would agree, uh, especially anything that hits the top water. But uh, the trayer, I think, and the tiger fish, of course, they come up and just attack it. And I think that's one thing that's really fun. A lot of people on here, you'll see they'll take it under the surface and fish stop and go. But just to entertainment purposes, I kind of like the uh, the animation when they hit the top of the water. Ooh, like that. See, you barely missed that thing. There he is. Nice. Oh, that might be a small trophy. Or a common a trophy. We'll take it. Quick 7,000. Uh, and then kind of like going back to what I was saying. Just for me in particular, I think the way that people use the, the glow crawl and the... Uh, the buzz bait and stuff on here and the, all the little different pairs you put together. A lot of them, you know, I think of a traditional pig and jig. I don't, I don't know what you guys' feedback is on that, but I think I think of it like a pig and jig the way a lot of people use the buzz baits on here. They'll, you know, stop and go. And that's kind of what I think of a bass jig or what we call pig and jig, where you've just attached something to a jig, whether it's a plastic worm or crawdad or lizard. Nymph. Again, I was just testing this out just to see if this would work because I was just thinking about that the other day. How many people stop and go with the uh, stop and go or twitch or take a buzz bait that's you know called a buzz bait when it's on top water and they're using it underneath it. One of those things that I was always curious about, and they really on this game, like if you go into a comp or something, they, uh, I don't know, maybe like the Stillhead Showdown and a few of the other one, top water only um, competitions, <clears throat> you don't get to use a buzz bait, but the buzz baits are, in my opinion, considered top water. But I just wanted your guys' feedback back on that and uh, see what you guys thought about it. But again, like I said, I'll demonstrate this here. Again, hopefully we can catch another one. I don't know if it's small or not, but I said a lot of people on here for whatever reason they'll and it does work, it is effective. I just think it's odd. Normally, uh oh, see I almost had one there. But like I said, I like taking this to top water and Getting the animation.
That was a tiny one. That's what I missed it. And here's the odd part, the, what I was trying to allude to. Now you can just sit here and now that, that, that's effective. I, I get it. I'm, like, I'm not complaining. I was just wondering what your thoughts were on this and. Uh, if anybody that fishes in real life that plays this game that happens to watch this video, I just kind of wanted to know what your feedback is on, on this subject. Do you consider a buzz bait a topwater lure, or is it just universal to you as well, and you kind of use it like a pig and jig or a bass jig? Uh, and also, if anybody else uh, has any requests or you know need help or something, feel free to uh, add me on uh, on the game. Just send me your... Send me your info or whatever to send me a friend request and I'll accept if uh, you're looking for any tips and tricks on Fishing Planet and you enjoy playing the game as much as I do. So anyway guys, take care and let me know.